Ebter on, welcome back to Oblivion. So, I was checking around on screen, I found a whole bunch of booty in this chest, and I figured, you know what, we'll take it. Why the hell not? God damn it, it would over-encumber me. And I do believe, yes, we can rest in this bed, and I forgot to level up last time, so let's do that whilst we're here. And yes, again, we're going to get strength, intelligence, and willpower, because eventually, we're going to be mostly using magic by way of uh, Midas magic, but for now it doesn't really benefit us all that much, but don't really matter. Anyway, so last time we took out the Beholden Lair Hive Mother, I think it was called, it was like a giant one-eyed demon of death. Almost killed me, took a long time to take the damn thing down, and we we may have kind of cheesed it slightly by using the Mayroon's Razor, but damn it, it just wasn't dying. But so yeah, it was a cool boss fight, we were just a little bit underpowered. We also did the Who Done It quest, one of the coolest quests in the entire game in my opinion. So now we have to go back to the Sanctuary and give them the good news, so I will see you there. Eh, get out the damn way! What's up, bone buddy? <laughs> I love the fact that he's the Guardian, he's just lumbering around, doesn't pay any attention to anything. You are the worst Guardian ever. There you are, what's up, buddy? Ah. Yes, that is an Argonian heart. Of that I'm sure. You have slain Scartail. Yeah, about that. Well done. You see? Please, take these boots as Technically speaking, I... You know, it doesn't matter. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. That sounds amazing. The Boots of Bloody Bounding. Thanks. Let's talk about Scartail. Scartail was once as a brother to me and Ochiva. But his act of treason destroyed any vestige of that relationship. His death was well deserved. Frankly, I'm surprised he lived that long. A pig to kick his ass before I even got there. Anyway, thanks. Take your time. I, I didn't mean to click that. A hundred? Holy shit. May you walk always in the shadow of Sithis, dear brother. Yeah, it's quite so. Anyway, let's check out the Boots of Bloody Bounding. Every time I hear the word bloody, it just makes me think of like the most English man ever. And we're naked now. Boots of Bloody Bounding, geezer. And... Uh... <laughs> okay, let's put some damn pants back on. There we go. They seem not too bad, but not amazing either. Either way, they're cool. We've got them now. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, Assassin. Sweet. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets. <laughs> act in accordance with the tenets. What do you take me for? I ain't gonna follow your goddamn rules. Anyway, so let's check out the, uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why is my endurance red? Like, uh, something's bringing it down. I don't know what's up with that. Like, uh, I don't think we've got... In fact, I'm positive we don't have any diseases, so I don't know what's up with that. Well, anyway, so yeah. We got uh, a blessing which boosts a whole bunch of stats by two each. It looks like it didn't actually contribute to our level up, which sucks, but hey, you know, free stats. Wait a minute, where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Greetings once more, Assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. <gasps> Not the Black Hand. Also, that sounds kind of racist. I'm listening. Do you recall the name Adamus Philida? The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Go. Yeah, what do you think? I'm ready. Let's do this shit. Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. What a dick. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. You suck. He's a powerful man, and was surrounded by powerful associates. Excuses. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Darkness! Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch Barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. Well then why don't you kill him? I will slay him like the pig he is. <laughs> yes, yes, the Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is an enchanted arrow that will kill Philida instantly. 
As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowen, track Philida, learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the rose of Scythus. Will do. Kill Philida in any way, rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, sever his finger, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks, in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. Well, okay, but I want you to know that's disgusting. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving... Yes, yes, yes. See, so, yeah, I remember this quest very well. The reason I remember it is it was a giant pain in the dick, because for a start, he's retired, and yet he never takes his freaking armor off. You're retired, why are you wearing your damn arm? It don't make no sense, but uh, more so than that, I'm pretty sure he even sleeps in the damn stuff. Now, at some point, clearly he has to take it off. That's the whole point of you getting the arrow. Now, you don't have to use the arrow, so what I usually do is just put on the Grey Cow and go and beat the shit out of him. That way you don't get in trouble because people think the Grey Fox did it. But uh, I will try and do it the legit way, but again, I could never actually find him without the armor on, so it may take some time. So anyway, I will see you in the Imperial City. Okay, so it turns out I'm a lying scumbag, the guy's actually in Leowin. I guess because he's retired now. Kind of makes sense, still don't make sense he's wearing his armor, and we found Mike the Liar. I remember this guy from Skyrim, I think he might be in Morrowind too. Mike knows much, tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. I see. So what do you know? Heard any good rumors lately? People always enjoy a good fable. Maik has yet to find one, though. Perhaps one day. Well, all right then. That was hardly a lie. Is that apparently that's all he's got to Take say? Care. Usually he has some interesting stuff to say, but I guess not today, and that rhymes. But uh, yeah, that guy is in Skyrim. I think he may be in some of the older games. Not entirely sure about that, but uh, yeah, he's the only character, as far as I know, that actually carries over. Which is kind of cool, and as I remember, if you actually try and attack him in this game, he has like way more than the maximum movement speed, so... I think I had like a hundred athletics on the character once, I tried to attack him, and he ran away at literally the speed of light, like I could not keep up with him. Don't ask why I attacked him, I'm a dick. Oh, and this is uh, the flooded version of Leowin, it's part of the Better Cities mod, normally it's not flooded, there's an option not to have it like that, but I like it like this, because you know, it adds more character, makes it more unique. It looks like the fellow we're looking for, Adamus Philida, or whatever his name is, is over here. Yep, wearing his armor again. What the hell are you doing? You He's just like staring instance. out into the... I... Well, alright then. I don't get what's up with that. What's the journal say? Uh, okay. I have to stalk him and find a good opportunity to attack him when he doesn't have his armor on. Again, don't know when the hell that is because I'm sure he sleeps with that, but hey, whatever. Do we know each other? There's something familiar about you, but I just can't place it. I'm the main character. Uh... <laughs> you know what? Let's just say nothing. Yes, well, I'm a very busy man, enjoying my retirement, don't you know? So why don't you just... go away? Fuck you! And also, for a start, if you're retired, you are not a busy man. And second of all, you hardly look busy. You're standing there staring into a lake. It don't make no damn sense. May keep up with me. Come on, teleports. There you go. Right, so anyway, I guess I'm gonna slink around and just, you know, stalk the guy. And I'll bring you back in when something interesting happens. Or when, you know, I give up and just decide to beat the crap out of him. Okay, so I've been following the guy like a weirdo pervert for, oh, hello, for like quite some time. And now he's gonna lock barracks. Which again, this don't make no sense to me. It's like he's going into the barracks to sleep. But yeah, he works in the Imperial City, or, excuse me, he used to work in the Imperial City. And now he's retired in an entirely different city, sleeping in their barracks in his armor. Am I the only one that doesn't understand this? But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna try and sneak in, which is not gonna be easy, because as you can see, there's a million guards and people around here, but, uh, I'm gonna try and sneak in. If we can at least get a glimpse of him to see if he is wearing his armor or not when he's asleep, 
then at least we know whether it's a bust or not to break in there. But I'm pretty damn sure, even if you do get in, he will still have his armor on. But, uh, yeah, I'll bring it back in when actually getting the damn thing, because right now it seems kind of a pain in the dick. Okay, we're in. Shh. Now, don't ask how I got in. I may or may not have cheated, You're because I was waiting it. around for a long time. Uh, like a long killer. time. And trust me when I say it was not working. Now, I'm maybe it's because of the uh, bit of Cities mod. It, 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 you know, it moves stuff around and adds stuff, so... It's entirely possible, but th so there's more guards and things like that now, so... There's, like, constantly a line of sight on the door. I literally could not get in here without cheating. I waited a long, long, long time. It was not happening, so, uh... Yeah. Anyway, it sounds like the guards well, are changing shift. Work now, hmm? Captain catches us Gavin, it'll be our heads. More than you know, buddy. More than you know. Okay, have they gone there? Oh, hello! So I'm guessing that's the new shift fella and he's just gonna stand there staring exactly where I wanna go. Can I? Can I sneak around behind him? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, shit. Don't alert him. Did 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 Okay, that's not you, that's a land wing guard! Well, sure, looks like we have to go up the staircase. There is, this is never gonna work. This is literally ne- yeah, he's- Oh, hello. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything suspicious at all! Okay, screw it, we're gonna wrap the staircase and see if we can find out uh, what's his chops up here. I just wanna see if he's wearing his armor. More than anything, I wanna know that. Where the hell is he? Why are all of the guards sleeping together? That's kinda disturbing. Yes, he is wearing his armor. Ain't- You see what I- He's sleeping with another guard in some foreign barracks when he's retired, wearing his armor. Makes no sense. But there you go, so that's a bust, so we have to wait, because, again, we have to find the opportunity for him to take his armor off. I don't know when that's gonna be, but apparently not when he's asleep. Okay, quite some friggin' time later, looks like he's going into an inn. In the middle of the day, and yes, I know there was a lot of ins in one sentence, but what do you want from me? So, I can't, I, is he going into this to sleep? I, I, oh, hello, you are right in my face. I know he's retired, but damn, how many times does one guy need to sleep, and how many different locations? What the hell are you doing? He's gonna sit on the chair, in an inn. I guess maybe he's just coming here to eat and drink or something, I really don't know. I, I don't know what to do right now, I want to kill the guy with this freaking arrow. Can you? No, apparently not. I thought maybe you'd have some kind of useful information for me. Maybe I could get a bed next to him and then sneak in or something. I don't know. I don't know, I know what the hell is going on, but uh, like I say, you do not need to use the arrow. It is not a requirement of getting the bonus. You don't have to do it, but I want to do it because, you know, I'm doing it on camera. I've never done it with the arrow before, so yeah, just I do not know how to get this guy to take his freaking armor off. Maybe we can like seduce him or something. I don't know, but uh yeah, apparently this was a complete bust. He's going again. What a dick. No oh, shit, I think I pissed him off. I'm so What? What? Why? Why? What the hell is going on? Why is there a random dude attacking me? <laughs> oh my god, she's setting everyone on fire. What are you doing? Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah. Why is this guy taking me? And damn, he's taking a beating. There's a lot of guards in him, finally. Holy shit. So who was that guy? I don't think it was a Mythic Dawn agent. Maybe he was, but uh, he didn't turn into like the Mythic Dawn armor-wearing thing, and he doesn't have any commentaries on him, so... I do not know what's up with that, but ironically, the guy we're trying to kill actually saved me. Or at least, you know, he helped. Who the hell are you? You look weird. I'm guessing that's custom. Well, anyway, that was a thing. Okay, now he's going to some kind of random thing, a guard station apparently just outside of the city. I do not know what the crap this guy's doing. Like, I have no idea. And in fact, before we pick that look, we should probably wait around just to make sure, yeah. Just to make sure nothing like that happens. Right, now let's go in. Please got be in here having a naked orgy. I just want to kill you without your damned armor on. Nope, he's wearing it again, and we're not allowed in here. Well, shit. I... I don't know what's going How do I get him to take his armor off? I don't understand. Are you shitting me right now? I found him back where we found him originally, and now he's butt freaking naked. I guess he's going for a swim or something. Either way, I don't know, but I'm gonna take the opportunity whilst he's here. I'm gonna kill this guy. We're also gonna wear the cow because everyone's gonna get alerted. Boom, son! 
Oh, thank You're you. You're the Gray Fox. You're under arrest for... for... Uh, for all kinds of stuff. You're wanted dead or alive. I'm... I'm choosing dead. Yeah, well, I choose alive, bitch. I'll make captain for this. Cause I'm wanted, wanted, dead or alive. Holy shit, this man has a key fetish. Good lord. Well, you used to have, but now you're dead, and we got his finger. Yummy! Okay, do we want to kill the guard? Probably not, you know what? No, no. We're gonna let the maid kill them, cause... Well, yeah, let's put it this way. We're not gonna get a bounty for doing that, cause we're wearing the grey cow. However, I don't trust random civilians not to jump in. And maybe they only do that in Skyrim. I don't really remember, but... I don't, what the hell? She's burning everything. But yeah, I don't want to accidentally kill a quest giver or something, so we're just going to run away. It's safer that way. The maid could do it, but it's less likely, at least I think so. Right, so anyway, I'm going to run out of city very quickly, and then we'll go back to the Imperial City and drop off the finger. Sometimes you tell the day by the bottle that you drink. Sometimes when you're alone, all you do is think. I'm a cowboy, cowboy. On a steel horse I ride, I want it, want it, dead or alive. And I just butchered that song, but that's okay. Right, so I do believe we just have to drop it off on this desk, and I think this is where we were before, because you may remember we had to stamp the uh, promotion papers for Hieronymus Lex to get him to promote it to Anvil. I think this is actually where we did it, because I noticed the stamp on the desk. Now, where is your finger? I'm guessing it's going to be in the miscellaneous section. That's Roderick's medicine. Hey, where the hell is it? There you are. Okay, perfect. Right, job done. Let's get all shit. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your sp where the hell did you come from? And you're some real low in the game. Can screw that shit. That guy ambushed me. Where the hell is he? Hello, sir. I, I, someone's looking at me. Who's looking at me? I, he must be upstairs. It looked like he came from upstairs. Dude? Where the hell are you? I... I don't understand. Oh, he's right there. He's literally in the corner. <laughs> How did I not see that shit? Right, well anyway... Hey, there we go. Now, damn it, he's looking at me again. Stop, you absolute dick. You're just slowing me down, buddy. It's very annoying now. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to just put it in the desk and then get the boys out of here. Even if he sees us afterwards, it shouldn't really matter. I mean, you know, in the real world, someone would kind of put two and two together and be like, well, I didn't technically see them put the finger in there, but they appeared from the room shortly afterwards that it was reported, so it would make sense. But, you know, it's oblivion, so as long as we don't get seen, that's all that matters. Right, so let's get the crap out of here. And there's a lot of people in here, apparently. Holy shit. Yes, there is. And we are out of here. Okay, let's go back to Achiever and give her the good news, and then I think we'll probably take a bit of a break from the Dark Brotherhood quest just briefly, because I want to do the arena, because I meant to do it a while ago, and frankly, I just kept forgetting, so it's handing this quest, get our new one, then we'll go do the arena next time. Okay, we are back at the Sanctuary, and the game actually crashed for me whilst I was leaving the Imperial City. It's the first time I've done that in a long time. People keep asking me, by the way, what my load order is, because the game doesn't run properly for them. I will post a video of my load order. It should already be up by the time you see this, so go check that out. Hello, what are you doing? Adamas Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. Yeah, no kidding. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus, 500 additional gold coins, is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. Conveniently, I'm ready. Ah, Assassin, I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you from Lucien Lachance. My God. You must open these sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you. 
I think I actually remember what this is, and don't worry, I'm gonna spoil it, but uh, it's kind of awesome. Right, let's check out a little very quickly, and then we will end the video if I can find it. Um, nope. Uh, yeah, no, that's not it. Well, there you are. Holy shit. Eliminator, you have served the Dark Brotherhood well in the short time that you have been with us. Indeed, the rate of your advancement has been rather remarkable. Now the Black Hand itself is in need of your abilities. You must proceed with all haste to my private refuge in the ruins of Fort Farragut, located in the forest northeast of the Chaten Hall Sanctuary. When you arrive, we will discuss the nature of your special assignment. I cannot stress to you enough the importance of your swift arrival at Fort Farragut. There are unseen powers working to unravel the very fabric of the Dark Brotherhood. The Black Hand is count on you to prevent this disaster. Disaster. Do not share the contents of this message with anyone at the Chain Hall Sanctuary, including Ochiva, and make no mention of your journey to Fort Varga. Also, be warned, my refuge within Fort Varga is guarded by denizens who will attack any interloper on set. Get through these rotting sentinels and you will surely have earned the right to visit my private sanctum, Lucien Lachance. Okay, so we have to go visit Lucien, but again, I think next time we will probably do the arena, it shouldn't take too long. And then we will move on to the rest of the Dark Brotherhood questline, and they'll probably do some modded stuff. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Oblivion.